Will it, it come just, out before Fast and Furious? Oh, yeah. Number 27? Yeah. Is that what they're saying? <laughs> Holy hell. Just kidding. I got, a, I got a phone, got a phone call this week. I got a phone call this week and they're saying, we're making another one. I'm like, we are. Yeah, well. Nobody, nobody even asked me. They just told me we were making another one. You're not just the face of David of Cool yeah, Water. You're the face of Fast and Furious. I was like, maybe, maybe you should ask me if I want to do it first, you know? Instead yeah, of just but they, so they would not have a film without, without you, basically, at this no, stage. Maybe. Ah, it'd be difficult to replace, though, because people are used to you now. Yeah. You know, people yeah. are looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. So, but if you had your choice, mm -hmm. what would you do? What kind of film would you do? You know, it's, it's funny because uh, I have a dark side. So, I, I did this movie called Running Scared, which was really dark, hard R, a lot of violence. Really? Yeah, and it's funny because a lot of people had major issues with it because they think it's a... It's, it's uh, like it almost glorifies it, or it uh, is too too embracing. But the thing that is, it's so funny about violence and, and and language and all that. I think it makes people uncomfortable is because people don't want to accept the fact that we are all capable of such horrible things. And yeah. so, as opposed to suppressing it and burying it, no. Let's embrace it. Let's see it for what it is. Let it be horrible. Let it be shocking. Let the reminder be right in your face. <laughs> you never go to the dark side. For me, it's like I know that I suppress a lot of things through life and experiences. And you know, you want to be the better person. Maybe you bottle up too much. For me, as an actor, it's therapeutic. I get out so much toxicity and so many horrible things that maybe we're buried way, way down in here. And at the end of the day, I'm completely exhausted. At the end of the shoot, I'm completely beat. But it's been a ride. It's been a roller coaster ride. I did that movie and a girlfriend of mine came out to visit. She was going to spend two weeks with me. She spent four days and said, I don't even know who you are right now. I'm going on. Four days. Couldn't take it. No, no, I couldn't take it. But, you know, I, for the longest time, like, I pondered. I couldn't figure out just what it meant about me. Like, I thought that maybe something was seriously wrong, that I enjoyed that experience so much. But, you know, over the last, say, like five, six, seven years and reflecting and looking back and understanding myself now better, I'm like, well, it was just an exercise, you know? I enjoyed being able to go in there and just root out all that nastiness, and it's all on screen. And some people appreciate it. I don't know if they're twisted or maybe they're just like me. Hey, what's up? I'm Paul Walker, and be sure to check out LATeenFestival.com.